Today, I tackled the task of making the Oni Temple. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. I got fan art. Look at this. I'm gonna put it right there. Let's go. So I settled on the Oni Temple, a very uh, difficult lock to make. So there are a total of three characters in here. I guess you could have four if you're including uh, this half a skeleton. Dude, yeah, no. Uh, we'll start out here with Lloyd, most basic character here. It's literally his Sons of Garmadon, Lloyd Sue. And I also added a green torch that he's carrying around through the cave. So in order to make Harumi, I actually needed to use uh, this thing up here. I used Lloyd's hood from the Ninjago movie and painted the hair part white. And then I got Lloyd's body from Hands of Time and then plain green legs. And I also gave her a knife. Terrifying, right? And her face doesn't look that um, sweet or innocent. Then once she puts the mask of hatred on, I needed to make her what she looked like with that on. I think they might have actually made this minifigure, but it's very hard to find and I didn't want to spend, you know, money on it. In this episode, they're actually traveling down the river on this little river boat. So I got a picture of what the pedal boat looks like and basically built that out of my Lego using some brown boat pieces. And I had a, a little bit of a hard time making it actually look good. You're gonna have to live with it, okay? I'm not a Lego designer. Now it's time for the temple. So we'll start with the outside. One thing I'm very, very proud of myself, at the bottom of the waterfall, I used this cloud piece. Now these cloud pieces are very useful. Sometimes you're building Lego and you, you get the perfect thing and That's what I was like. So I used about four of these leaves to go around the outside of this cave opening to give it a jungle vibe. And then for the cave opening, I used a ton of swords and spikes and everything sharp you can think of to make this mouth look absolutely menacing. Check this out. Did that scare you? Good. Moving on from the cave entrance, we're gonna go to the uh, like the pillar things that you jump that Lloyd and Harumi have to jump across. I use a couple of Technic pins to make the pillars swivel back and forth. Then we have the big, then we have the biggest section of this. I don't know what you want to call it. The cave. You have this platform right with some gold around it and the mask of hatred in the middle. You don't want just a lame pillar there, right? No one wants a lame pillar. So I had to add a function, of course, and this function I'm pretty proud of. So basically what you do is you put Harumi on one side of the wall, mask of hatred person on the other side of the wall, and you turn this little pillar thing, and guess what? The wall flips around very fast, and there you have it. She just transformed into the horrible rock person thingy. I used a whole bunch of gears, a rubber band, and sweat and tears. One detail I could not pass up was all the purple crystals that are hanging on the walls of this cave. That's a picture of it. I scoured through all my bricks to find every single one of the little purple pieces I could get my hands on, and I just loaded this thing up. Like, they are all over the place. This man is a legend. He was a brave explorer, and he found the temple of the Oni. And now he looks like this. I don't know how he lost his legs. That's not important. But he died. I'm sorry, man. Rip. So guys, it's time to see if this Oni temple is actually accurate to the show and people can actually tell what it is. So I got a picture of the Oni temple, blurred it up, and made a post. And it went crazy. You guys knew exactly what scene it was from, what season it was from, and what the episode name was. I, I thought I was a Ninjago fan. But boy, you guys are serious Ninjago fans. So now that I'm finally done with this whole mock, let's go take a closer look. From one of the best seasons of Ninjago, here we have the Oni Temple with three characters, a cave system, and a riverboat. We'll start over here with the riverboat, a pretty simple build. I put an engine on the back, a little compass on the front, and a steering wheel to guide the boat wherever it goes. Very nice um, addition to this whole Oni Temple set. Then we'll move on to the kind of jungle opening of the cave. There's some swamp water down beneath. If we go up these little steps here, we find ourselves at this huge cave opening with 
a massive amount of teeth. And then down beneath, there is a skeleton holding a blue crystal. Could technically be the Rome crystal if you want. I don't know. We have a bunch of rock pillars sticking up that Lloyd and Harumi have to jump across before they fall down. Then we finally get to probably the biggest section here, and this is where the mask is seated. But if you take it off the stand, we're gonna come around back and put it on this other minifigure back here. Then we can put Harumi standing on that rock pillar, grab the pillar that the mask has been on, and do a quick turn with it, and she turns into what she looks like with the mask on. Uh, so I had a little bit of room to build something here. So what I did is I made some like runes on the wall and then a barrel with some scrolls, kind of mysterious ancient stuff here. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you in my next Ninjago Mock. It's going to be of Hunted, another great season and I can't wait to show you what it is. Peace!